Hello everyone, I am back with a little tutorial on how I created these nails. I'm using Culture Addicts Airbrush Paint in Lavender. You can use my code Ellie's Nails, all caps, for 15% off. Using your favorite color, airbrush one half of the nail. You can use any color you like, I decided to use a white. I'm using two different airbrush guns connected to the same compressor just to make this a lot easier. Now start airbrushing the opposite half. These are some stencils that I found on Amazon. You want to try your best laying them down straight and evenly. It's a little hard, it took me a couple of times, so don't get discouraged. Now you airbrush on the opposite half using the other color. So where it's white, I am airbrushing purple. Now where purple is, I'm airbrushing that white. This is my absolute favorite part. Now you can remove the stencil, revealing your art. This one was a lot of fun to make and it wasn't that hard at all. Just to finish it off, apply your favorite top coat. And on to the next look, I am using color lilac. This look is very similar to the first one, creating a vertical ombre using two different colors. The other color I'm using is rose. Using any stencil you like, place it down on the center and start spraying the opposite colors on each half. The next look is the infamous Frenchies that are trending everywhere. I'm using color Melissa. And with this look, you're going to want to airbrush the entire nail.
You can use any type of French tip stencil and apply it where you like. The second color I'm using in this look is called a cornflower. I started airbrushing at the base of the nail and only on one side. Once you have the perfect ombre, remove the stencil and place it right on the French line. Wipe off any paint that might have gotten on the tip. Using the same color, airbrush the opposite side of the tip. Honestly, this was the easiest look to do. I can't imagine trying to do this with gel. I'm using the same color for the last look and airbrushing only one half. The second color I'm using is black. And like the first two looks, airbrush the opposite half. I went a little crazy with the black, but that's okay. I went back in with the cornflower color and made the ombre as straight as I could. I'm using Culture Addict's flame stencil and placing it where I like. And you already know the deal by now. Go ahead and airbrush using the opposite colors. I get asked this a lot, but as you guys can see, my favorite airbrush paint is by Culture Addicts. It doesn't need to be diluted and the coverage is buildable. My favorite part, just look how good this looks. I'm definitely going to try my best to start making more YouTube videos and posting little tutorials like this. So definitely comment and let me know what you would like to see next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, till next time.